Yeah, hi there, Jerry. This is Michael, also known as Bulldog Buck. And if you're at his Facebook page, you probably read his post. And this is no April Fool's joke here. Indeed, he beat me. And uh, let me tell you about the race from my perspective also. So as he says in his Facebook page, the battle between Bue and Buck ended with Bue coming out on top by 7 seconds in 1641. First of all, I want to congratulate uh, Jerry not for beating me. Which is, which is good, but remember his PR right now for the 5,000 on the track is 1618. Now in today's race, uh, we had very strong headwinds. Right after the first mile, we did a U-turn and we ran parallel to the beach. And it was at that point we had some very, very strong winds. So it was a very slow race. You know, the places uh, from place one all the way to place 20, Jerry was, took the 20th spot. Unfortunately, I was number 21, but it was very tough conditions. Now, having said that, uh, I knew that the wind would be a factor in the race, so I wanted to start off easier. In fact, I ran a lot slower than I normally do. Now, in this particular race, because there's so many people in the race, and there's so many people that I like to beat, I wore my prescription glasses. I don't actually have them on right now, but hold on a minute. Let me get my glasses. Give me a second. In this particular race, I wanted to wear my glasses. Uh, number one, unfortunately, I'm old. I'm 46 years old. I'll be 47 in December. And frankly, I don't see very well. But when I had these glasses on, after that first mile, I could see Jerry. I could definitely see him in front of me. Unfortunately, he was, I don't know, 100 or 150 meters ahead of me. But nevertheless, I could see him. And as he said in his post, uh, I, I imagined a bullseye directly on his back and everybody else in the race disappeared except for him. And my goal between the first and the second mile was to run up that hill and as Greg Mavara once told me, head down, pump arms, and quick feet. And that's exactly what I did as I started going up that hill. Now remember my first mile was quite slow. I was closer to 530. Uh, Jerry ran his first mile in around 5.12, so I had about an 18-second gap at that point. Nevertheless, though, I could see him, and I started working through the pack. I was passing scores of runners to my left and my right. I kept passing and kept passing, and pretty soon, there were three or four people between me and Jerry, and that was it. So I said, Jerry, I'm coming up. So I yelled at him a few times as he said in his post, and I do that with my friends. When I'm running against my rivals, people I particularly like, teammates, and Jerry's one of my teammates, we're both on the Cal Coast uh, Track Club team down in Orange County. There's really no racing club up here in, in the high desert, unfortunately. But anyway, that, that's a whole other story. But anyway, it's, hey, Jerry, I'm coming up on you now. With a half mile to go, we had to go up to this turn, and it was a U-turn. And I was really gaining on him at that point. I, I knew I was going to catch him. Now, we got to the U-turn, and that son of a gun hit that U-turn and just really accelerated. And he made the U-turn, and he just shot right up as he was heading down toward the finish. And when I made the U-turn, I'm like, wait a minute here. Uh, Jerry had already gapped me. He would got about, I don't know, five or six extra steps on me from that one freaking U-turn. I'm like, wow, that, that just, it took all of the wind out of my sails. I was motivated up to that point, but when he began gapping me more after the U-turn, it frustrated me. Nevertheless, there was at this point one person between me and Jerry in the race. So I just started running, working, working, grinding. That's why they call me Bulldog Buck. I don't get that name for for, for no reason at all. I get it because I grind the race at the end. I push and I push. I push. Even though I'm old, I keep pushing and I just keep passing people, right? So I passed the one guy. Now, the only person ahead of me was Jerry. Now, as 
at this point, we had probably, I'm going to say 150 yards or so before we turn left to the finish. And at that point, we had another two or 300 yards until the finish. I wanted to try to catch him before we got to that turn. But because, as I just said a minute ago, he'd already gapped me at that one U-turn and that took the wind out of my sails, I just didn't have the strength to catch him before we made that left-hand turn. And when we made the left-hand turn, he started kicking. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is, I'm not going to get him at this point. I figured he was a lost cause. But then somebody else behind me started kicking on me. They were going to try to catch me. And uh, I didn't want that to happen. So I started kicking and gave it my best. But it was a downhill stretch. I couldn't close it. And Jerry ended up beating me by about seven seconds uh, overall. So Jerry, congratulations. A very strong run on your part. Very good race strategies. You held it together uh, at the end of the race. You didn't fall apart. You had a good kick the final two or 300 yards of the race. You look good. Unfortunately, this time, uh, you beat me. And that's great. Now, I said this time. Now, next time we get together, remember that I've hired you now to be my personal trainer for one reason, to beat you. So again, you're coming to my house this Friday and you're going to start giving me some good core, some good flexibility, and some strength exercises to get this bulldog back in shape. Unfortunately, I've gained a little bit of weight. I'm about 20 pounds heavy right now and it's costing me dearly in my 5K time. So the next time we meet, Jerry, you better get ready. You better dig in because I'm looking for you. I'm going to run for you. And uh, next time, I'm going to catch you. But a very good run today on a world stage. Carlsbad is really the best 5,000 in the United States and in one of the most competitive 5,000s in the United States of America, you, my friend, finished in the top 20, and I, unfortunately, did not. So that was a great run on your part. I look forward to racing you again in the near future.